Well, we are over halfway through February. Spring is on the horizon, but where has all the snow been? For the third year in a row, we are starting the year off in a rainfall deficit, leading to drought concerns yet again. Is it cause for concern? Local 5's Dave Downey explains. With only two big snowfall events this year and not a flake of snow in the month of February, where do Iowa's farmers currently stand? The situation across Iowa isn't off to a great start. Over 80% of the state is in the abnormally dry category as of mid-February, but last year wasn't exactly wet either. That didn't stop Kenny Lund's 1,500 acres in Polk City. We had an excellent crop last year. That, even with a near 8-inch deficit from the average yearly rainfall in 2021, and now the 2022 growing season is on Kenny's mind. Much of central Iowa hasn't seen much, if any, precipitation in the past month or so, but that same period also happens to be just about the driest 30 days of the year on average, so Kenny isn't worried. As long as we get timely rains through summer, it's not a huge problem. But with two big snowfall events in January, that had to have put a dent in things, right? Snow doesn't add a lot to groundwater. Number one, when it starts thawing and it melts, the ground's still frozen, so most of it runs off. Some will certainly soak down into the ground as we get warmer temps, but... Have a nice rain. The end of March is better than all the snow all winter long. And there's certainly one thing Kenny doesn't want. We don't need the severe stuff, which seems to be more of an issue than what it used to be. In Polk City, Dave Downey, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.